You may be surprised to know that skate parks are actually a boost for our San Diego communities. Here with more is the mortgage geek, Sean Cahan, and his special guest from the Avenue Home Collective, Ian Hoey. Bam! And here they are in the house. Yes. The mortgage geek is back! Everybody. I forgot my glasses. There is, oh, oh son of a gun. I, I remember mine. Uh, I'll do okay. it for you. Can there I have you go. them? I, uh, <laughs> I need LASIK, so I mean. <laughs> Ian Hoey, great to have you here, my friend. Thank you. First uh, time, fantastic. stoked. Yes, this is your board. Yes, it you is. You actually wrote in on this thing. I did write in on this thing, yes, absolutely. That's cool, man. Awesome Without design. injuring myself, which is good. That's sweet. You know, yeah. this, is a, this is an interesting topic because, um, I mean, I think a lot of people know Tony Hawk's like in our backyard. He's in yeah. like what Carlsbad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like has a cool deal in his backyard. If you ever take a helicopter flight out of Palomar, you can like fly right over his house. Yep. It's pretty awesome. That's um, next level stuff. That's next level. That's crazy. His, his son, <laughs> it is. His it son's is. a pro too, a legitimate pro. Is that right? Yeah. That's so cool. It's right in the bloodline. He's killing it. That's awesome. And you know, the, the thing about skating is that it's one of those things that started kind of like rock and roll. At first, it was like you had to be a bad boy or, you know, <laughs> yeah. it was like it was it had this stigma to it. Totally. It was like only like this certain type of people are doing it. Um, but now it's become one of those things where it's a, it's a really good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and these skate parks specifically that are going into these different communities are making a huge positive impact. Huge, yeah. And they start off being a stigma because before, like a Jay Adams, for example, from the 70s, uh, iconic uh, skater, he was basically seen as a thug or a criminal. And um, that mentality kind of stuck through the 70s and 80s and 90s until now. And I mean, I, I remember being in high school and uh, our favorite thing was the Santa Cruz skateboarding is not a crime sticker because everywhere we went, it was like illegal to skateboard. So we would just crave skate parks and uh, it took 10,000 signatures. It took the community to be okay with it, which they weren't because they thought we were just going to, I don't know, be delinquents and loiter. Smoke cigarettes. Smoke cigarettes. Litter. Yeah. You know, get someone to buy uh, booze for us, something I, which I never did personally. Um, but, uh, you know, like the same mentality around that. But um, it's a lot different now, for sure. And you guys are great examples. Right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Sean, top loan officer in San Diego, skater. Right? <laughs> Ian, Secret. real estate expert, skater. You guys are One of the better up. looking guys You're in San Diego? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get one of those? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I need to shave first, man. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like, you know, I, I guess for, for that piece right there, for all the parents out there, for your kids who are wanting to go to the skate park or who are skating on the streets, it doesn't mean they're going to become like hooligans and like be thrown in jail someday. There's still some people who think that. Um, but that's not at all what's happening. In fact, it used to be that getting the skate parks in these communities was a real challenge. Now the communities are begging for the skate parks. Yep. Why do you think that is? I think it's a great place for like the children and like the teenagers and, and even like the grown ups to actually go and they all like just have a really good time, like, you know, common denominator, hey, we're all here to go, like, hey, to skate park. And also it kind of takes away from the um, Skating can hurt public and actual privately owned like commercial spaces by like, you know, like the curbs and the rails and all that kind of stuff, which, um, you know, negative, nothing against it, but it can do that. And so that's how like the older generation, like my parents are like, oh, they're ruining our stairs and they're ruining these things. And it's like, well, wait a second here, let's build a park. They can go and do, you know, everything actually at the park, still have a really good time. Um, but, um, you know, not kind of, in their eyes, ruining the uh, commercial spaces yeah. type. Well, yeah, because it's like, I mean, for anyone so. who's snowboarded or skied or, you know, you get to a certain point and you're always looking for that next level, right? So, like, you figure mm -hmm. that trick out and then, or you get that mountain down and then that run, and then you're looking for the next one, the next one, the next one. And when your playground is the streets of a neighborhood, you know, those next levels get into people's stuff pretty quick. Totally. Yeah, but yeah. if you have a cool skate park set up, you can go get your next twist done there. Mm -hmm. Like you can go find the next level there every day. Yep. And then you'll you never have... out. You'll never out skate the actual park. Right. Exactly. Like the yeah. mammoth you'll never park is it. epic. It's crazy. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that was designed uh, by some of like the best skaters. I mean, that is like if you're a pro, that thing will still like actually ruin you. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it, it will. It, it will too. And just to expand on that a little bit, yeah, it like it gives 
especially with younger parents now who are buying homes and looking for skate parks in areas. Uh, it's a good family uh, fun thing. There's like soccer moms and soccer dads, but now there's actually skate moms and skate dads. Um, it's actually a pretty lucrative career now. Like a pro skateboarder makes an average of six figures. The industry pulls in about $5 billion a year. Um, it's more than just like a leisure activity you now where there's like um, skateboarders who are practicing so they can be sponsored so they can eventually have a career in skateboarding because sponsorships, uh, doing like the do tour um, or being associated with any kind of the tours they have right now, it's, it's super lucrative. And uh, as a matter of fact, last year they announced uh, skateboarding as the Olympics in 2020. Uh, I heard in Tokyo. No kidding. Yeah. yeah, so it's become what that big. What are they going to do? Do we know? Uh, I think they're going to do street and then they're going to do some kind of transition or ramp. Okay. Like a half pipe or something. Um, but um, it's one of the reasons why uh, the pro skater Nigel Houston left DC to go on to Nike so they can have him as a premier endorser, pay him a ton of money, which mm -hmm. is one of the biggest companies, third biggest company in the world right now, um, just to push their ship for skateboarding, which is just becoming this massive like vehicle. But um, having these skate parks gives that outlet for kids. And I mean, if, if you don't have a skate park, the city becomes a skate park, and then you, you ruin private property, you ruin commercial property. Um, it, it, to have them focus in a certain spot where they can just be creative, it's like their canvas, or like their studio, as opposed to you know, going everywhere they can, which is part of the element of skateboarding, I won't lie. I mean, I've jumped a few fences in my time, but having a skate park was easier for us just to meet up on a Saturday and hang out. Totally, and it's also cool entertainment for people if you want to come see people trying crazy stuff. Oh yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's, that's a great place and get to get hurt. It. I mean, let's just be honest. Sometimes when someone takes a pretty hard slab, you're like, oh, <laughs> dang. <laughs> people love it, dude. It yeah, is kind of funny. Like, people love it. That's like, America's sorry, Funniest Home Videos. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, just all day. Like, that's what it is. So you get uh, a lot from these, these skate parks, obviously improving communities. Some of the best communities in San Diego now have these. Yep. A lot of the better communities in San Diego now wanting these. So I think that we're kind of over the hump. Do you guys feel like we're over the hump or do you feel like there's still a little fight left there? A hundred percent. There used to be a handful of skate parks in San Diego. I believe we're at 35 now and growing. And as a matter of fact, they're revamping old parks like Kit Carson Escondido, they're gonna redo. And uh, just in my community alone, when we had one or two, now there's one in Poway, Carmel Valley, Carlsbad, um, like you name it, 15, 20 minutes you could find a skate park. And they're always based around growing communities. The one in Carmel Valley is right next to condo complexes, next to homes, next to a shopping center. So, um, yeah, if anything, I think we're over the hump. And uh, actually, they're building, in 2017, they're building the biggest skate park in our county, in Linda Vista, and it's going to be 34,000 square feet. And I think they're going to invest about $4 million into it. So if that doesn't Dang. tell you that there's a presence in the skateboard, you know, activity or, or just skate parks in general, then, I mean, I don't know what is. I mean, Encinitas YMCA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's which is a legit YMCA. Too. Yeah. Dude, I mean, legit. Like it's great. I mean, they're yeah. jumping on and um, you know, allowing these kids to kind of have the opportunity to have something close by that the yep. parents are not having to like drive like an hour, or thirty minutes. And that's another thing too that um, you know people are looking at when they're you know Poway is a great school district, but what are they going to do after school? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Super important when you have teenagers <coughs> and you work, Absolutely. you know, every day. What's also needed just industry wise is how many different kinds of boards there are now. Oh, yeah. So they're not just all trick boards. Mm -mm. You know, there's boards for everybody. Like if you want a big, lazy board that you can <laughs> ride with your kid, like it's actually, you know, it's a cool thing you yeah. could do. Like you can find those sort of like easy to ride, bigger, lazy. I just call them lazy boards, you know, because that's kind of what it is. Like, you don't really want to do anything except for well, just, like, Well, they just glide. created, like, the double bushing, like, truck, and so on those <laughs> big boards, so you can, like, totally carve them out, and, and uh, like, it, very nimble, but it's a huge board, and they're putting, yeah. like, bamboo, where they're, you can just totally get, like, ripping down the hill, too, so it's, like, really cool where it's actually going. Yeah. You're basically so. surfing. Yeah. Technically, yeah. yeah. You're, you're curb surfing. Yeah. Exactly. Someone hit a huge rock. I've done that before. It's, uh, <laughs> let me tell you. I was bombing It sent me back about 10 years. Yeah. Like, I, I was going this. down Cash Street. Where am I? <laughs> oh, uh, down the hill. <laughs> and I like looked behind me because I was like, yeah, boom. <laughs> and I just, I think I turned into like a pencil. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> just whoa. <laughs> I just smashed my head. Wow. And I went to the hospital because I was Dude. like, I don't know if I have a concussion. <laughs> like, <laughs> Till this day, I got a concussion from hitting a rock and skateboarding. And my mom still thinks it's the reason why I forget my wallet and keys. <laughs> She's like, where's your wallet and your keys? That, that time 10 years ago when you fell off your board. I'm like, what? <laughs> I got it from that got a Slurpee. I was fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anyway, well, amazing. great stuff, guys. Thank you so much for coming in today yeah. and for 
everyone out there, hey, if your kids are skating, not such a bad thing. Maybe you should go get a lazy board and join them. And maybe they'll become as successful as these two guys. Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else. We'll do it all commercial free.